Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to send email in your robot framework test automation script. In some cases, you need to send test results via email or generate test results and then send email the result to your inbox or you may need to submit test reports by emails to your manager. In those situations, you need to send email after your test is completed in your robot framework script. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to send email with Gmail account in robot framework. For sending email, you need to write a custom keyword or custom function and use it as a library. Let's look at the send email project. In this send email project, I added a test suite send email and added two test cases. Send email has attachment test send email no attachment test. In the send email no attachment test, I used a keyword send mail no attachment. This is the from user. This is the from password. This argument is to user. argument subject line of the email and this is the content text in the email. The other test case is send email has attachment test. In this attachment test I used the keyword send mail with attachment. This argument is from user this is the from password. This is the to user. Email subject. Email text. And this is the attachment file. When we run the test or script, two critical tests to passed and two tests total to passed. On the console we see that the test is passed and completed successfully. This is the screenshot from the inbox of Selenium Master services at seleniummaster.com. I executed the test multiple times. Because the email is sent from services at seleniummaster.com to services at seleniummaster.com, it is displayed as me because the from user and to user are the same. This email doesn't have any attachment. The second email has an attachment. This is the symbol for the attachment. And in the last two lines, in this line, because I put a wrong two user email address, so the recipient failed permanently. And this email, because the two user is not valid, so delivery to the following recipient failed. So in your test script, you need to test both the positive and negative scenarios. So I used valid two user address and invalid two user address. And in both cases, the email was sent, but in the inbox for the invalid email address, the email delivery is failed, but that's fine. 
because the primary objective of our test script is to send email with Gmail account. Now let's look at the actual Python script. I wrote a Python script named gmail send email dot pi and as I explained in another video tutorial for comparing PDF file once I finish the Python script I copied the script under site packages gmail email library and gmail send email dot pi and in the robot framework I used the library name gmail email library so I used that python file as a custom library now I will explain the script we import smtp library python library and from email I import mime multi part and mime base mime text and email encoders so all these libraries are needed uh, for the email send python script and finally in the import os the operating system python package so i created a class send email utility and it is an object for the robot library scope we use this as a global library and this line dev underscore int underscore self this is to initialize the object I defined a function or a keyword send mail with attachment please remember that this is the typical format for a keyword so if you look at the robot keyword send mail with attachment in python function each function should follow the standard function name lowercase word underscore and another word underscore so this is a pattern when we use this as a keyword the first letter always gets capitalized send email with attachment so we use this send email utility object and from user this is an argument from password this is an argument to user subject text and attachment so we defined a message email message equal to my multi-part message so the message contains from user message to user and message subject and message dot attach mime text So we defined a mime message part part equal to mime base application the message is a kind of stream object so we set a payload we open the attachment and read the attachment file to attach to the part this line is encoders.encode base64 part. We encode this message. Now we add header for this message. Uh, content, disposition, attachments. And for the attachment, we read the operating system pass and file name. So now we attach this multi part to the message. Message.attach part. The next line is mail server equal to smtp library.smtp 
This server we are using smtp.gmail.com and for the port 587 and this is a mail server.ehlo this is a function mail server uses TLS that's a protocol to use This line is mail server dot login. We login the mail server remotely from user from password. Now mail server dot send email from user to message as string. Then mail server dot close. So with this function we can send an email with an attachment by using Gmail account. Now let's look at the second keyword, send email no attachment. The logic is similar to the function above, but in this function we don't have an attachment. So we defined a multi-part message. We defined from user to user message subject message that attached the text. That is the text in the content. So we use Gmail SMTP server using port 587. We use uh, TLS secured message. Mail server dot login, login the server and send email from user to message as string. And finally, we close the mail server. You can find similar code on different websites. So check out some other website or search website for sending Gmail with Python language. So we already wrote the script. Now we need to write another script to use it as a library. So the second script is we use uh, init underscore underscore int underscore pi and we copy this under gmail email library under the folder so because the python code it name is gmail send email so from gmail send email code we import send email utility that is a class we use this object it's version 1.0 now the class is gmail email library it's always a good idea to have the same name for the site packages folder and with the class initialization for the library so in this gmail email library we use the class send email utility and the robot library scope is global so both files should be copied under Gmail email library. So once the files are ready for use, I created a write project email test and added a test suite send email. And we imported the library Gmail email library and wrote test cases. So send mail with attachment. It has from user, user password, to user, subject, content, and attachment. And second case is no attachment. So send mail, no attachment, from user, from user password, to user, subject, and content of the email. So this test result shows that the test passed and I already showed it in the screenshot. I see the emails in the services at seleniummaster.com email address. You can find the written example on seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.